Good day to you folks. Welcome to another edition of My Favorite Apps. Today I'm going to show you how to merge two pictures together uh, where you extract one and put it in the uh, back, put it on top of a background uh, so you can be anywhere in the world. So let's get started. So there's two programs that you will need. The first is called Erasure, Erase, Eraser and the second is uh, photo layers. Now there's several apps on the, the App Store but I uh, chose these and I, I like them the best. So let's get into this. So first of all, Erasure, we're gonna click on this and we need to load a photo. So I'm gonna load one of the photos I have. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove all the background and only have the person in the uh, picture once we finish. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop it as much as we can right now by pulling in the sides and we're going to get as close to what we want as possible. Now up in the right hand corner you click done and what it does it takes you to the next uh, picture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to get rid of automatically as much as we possibly can. So on the screen you'll see the auto which is the little star there, and it brings up this uh, target in the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press on the screen and we're going to drag this around and wherever we let go of the uh, our finger on the screen it will then activate and try to remove. So let's do that now. So I'm going to drag this over here into the white area and you will see that all the white area will disappear. Okay, a lot of it did. Let's go up here same thing. So the checkerboard in the background, what that is, is a blank background now. There's nothing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this picture and uh, paste it into another picture um, that we have. So let's pull this over here. So as you can see what happened here on my leg right there, it actually deleted some of my leg. So we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the uh, undo where the undo button. So there's a number three with an arrow back arrow you can see on the screen here and I'm gonna press that so now it says two and there's a there's a redo of one so you can undo all your changes so if we go back I can get rid of that and I can get rid of that now if I want to redo them I just hit the redo button okay so one of the things so that's the auto feature now what we're gonna do um, we have to clean up a lot of this stuff so we're gonna zoom so click the zoom and you zoom in you do a pinch normal pinch here and uh, let's do an auto again and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it over here and it cleans up most of the stuff now one of the things is that uh, we want to we want to really clean it up to where it's really nice so let's do a manual now one of the things you can do is you the manual size is you can create as you can see the circle uh, that is what you're going to be using to delete the information. So I'm going to make it bigger because I have a bigger area to uh, attack right now. So once again, I'm going to drag this. Now as I drag this, it's going to remove all this little junk here. So if you can see on the screen, all the little black things go away. And then you can clean up the edge here too. So what I'm going to do is just go in here, just clean up the edge. Now, if you delete a little bit more than what you're trying to delete, you won't even see it because it uh, the resolution is you know so small that you won't be able to you won't be able to tell. So let's go and do a zoom again. So what I'm going to do is go out and let's go up here. So one of the things I want to show you is let's go back to manual. Is you can make this dots very very small. So all the intricate areas. Uh, let's zoom in here a little bit more okay so as you can see right right there we need to clean that up a little bit so I made this dot really small and I'm going to get rid of this stuff here so as you can see it's erasing it but it's doing a very small area so what I can do is get a nice clean edge here and I can be very very precise when I clean that up okay then you want to switch to a bigger size to get all the the main junk here 
So this feature has been in Photoshop for a very, very long time, but now it's finally come to uh, cell phones where it's very, very reasonable. So I want to clean up a little bit more, so I just do a zoom and I drag and I go back to manual and you can clean up a lot of stuff here. Okay, so once I've done that and I'm happy, let's zoom out and I've cleaned up my image, I go, I go to the top right and I do a done. Now, as you can see, you can see the areas that I've cleaned up and the areas that still need attention. Um, one of the things you can zoom in here, and as you can see, this edge right here is not very good. So I can choose to go clean that up, or I could, uh, I could try to do it automatically. Now, in this mode here down at the bottom, it says smooth. So right now it's on 1. So I'm going to hit 5, and let's see what happens. As you can see, the white areas go away automatically, and I don't have to do anything. So what you want to do is get as close as you can and then just go into the smooth option and uh, have it do it automatically. Okay, so that's how, you, that's how you erase the background of a picture. So now what we're going to do is we are going to move into um, posting two pictures together. So that brings us to the photo layers. So photo layers, we click on this and we want to load a background image. Okay. I'm going to load one of these images here. And this is just a picture of a city with a bridge. So I'm going to do a done. Now one of the things you can, you can crop this out if you want. You can make it smaller, but I'm going to leave this image. So we go up to done. You can also on the bottom change the aspect ratio, but um, it just depends on the picture whether or not that's a good idea or not. So let's go to done pulls up the picture. So this is our background image. So what we want to do now is we want to add a photo at the top. And I'm going to add uh, a pre uh, one of the one of the same picture that I did before. So it's complete now. So I'm going to do a done. So we have controls on this image here and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because it's too big. Okay. Now one of the things I want to do is I want to position this but that's not what I want. I want to be over the edge. So what I'm going to do is go down to the bottom and do a flip. Okay, so it flips my image. So I'm going to position this. And now notice that uh, it looks kind of funky. So what I'm going to do is rotate it. By the bottom left, if you select that, you can actually rotate the picture. And then I'm going to, whoops, and then I'm going to position it here. So I'm going to rotate a little bit more. Okay, so now it looks like I'm sitting on the edge of this uh, bridge here with my feet dangling over the side. So I go to save, and you want to save it. So now we can zoom in and see what it looks like. So that's actually pretty good. Now, you can clean it up, and uh, you can make things look really, really authentic. And uh, it's crazy what you can do. Uh, one of the things is the lighting sometimes is different with pictures. So you might have to tweak it in a regular editor to get them um, looking the same. Um, but overall, that's how you do it. This is a very fun app, and I hope that you will use it. And I, I know that you have hours of, hours of fun. I've done a lot of things with this, and uh, I've had a lot of great fun. Okay. Thanks for your time, and hopefully you enjoy it, and let me know what you think.